the power of having a blog site in cybersecurity. Now, maybe a lot of you already know about the power of it, but uh, if, if you do fall into that category, let me remind you, because sometimes just having the reminder of it, I think even I could benefit from this as I haven't really updated mine in quite some time. It's really good to be consistent on updating your blog, and I'm going to share with you guys exactly why and kind of the how as well. What's up, guys? This is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. In this video, I want to enlighten some of you guys who don't know, and if you do know, well, maybe I can inspire you to start a blog, right? Start a security blog. This is going to be extremely helpful for those of you that want to get into cybersecurity or maybe make a job change. Maybe you're already in cyber and uh, you might want to look for another job for higher salary, whatever the case may be. This is a tremendous weapon to have in your arsenal. When it comes to a lot of these jobs in the IT space, right, When especially for programmers, they have ways that they could showcase that they know what they know, that they have their skill set, right? They could have code on GitHub that proves they can code. And um, for us as security people, we can also have really nice GitHubs, and it's good to have that, right? I need to update mine uh, with some of the code that I've been writing because I've been writing so much code if you watch this channel, but I haven't really put too much of it out on public display on GitHub yet. Um, yeah, something I need to do as well. It can help us, right, to have that nice GitHub, but it's not going to be as impactful for us as it is for someone looking for a developer job, obviously, right? So we have to get a little bit creative in cyber uh, in how we can really showcase that, hey, we know what we know. Having a GitHub certainly helps, but having a blog site is an even bigger piece, I would say, uh, because then you can you can really truly showcase that you know what you're talking about, right? And what do you actually put on your blog might be a question that you have, right? Um, if you do CTFs, right? If you, especially if you're looking to get a job in cybersecurity, you don't have one already, do some CTFs and then do some write-ups on those CTFs. But beyond that, I mean, just anything that uh, you want to share with the world that will uh, provide value to people, whether it's to developers, IT professionals, other security people, um, anything related to security, write, write up a blog post, right? And, you know, maybe have it to where you're going to write a blog post a week, a blog post a month, whatever the case might be, even every day if you're really that dedicated. And uh, the most important part is just start building up that database of information, tangible things that you can show a potential employer or even other people in the security community to get known uh, yourself, right? So that is, that's something that uh, has come up in a lot of the interviews that I've had in the past is like, oh, okay, yeah, tell me more about this blog site that you have. And I would tell them what my motivation behind creating it was, what my vision for it was, and uh, the type of things that I talk about on my blog, right? And anyone can go to that URL, right? It's out there on the internet. Anyone can go there and they can look at it themselves and see, um, you know, see for themselves, like, okay, this is what this guy understands and he actually created this write-up of this, this, and this. Okay, I can tell this guy knows a lot about this particular topic here and he knows about this here and this just so happens to be the skill set that we're looking for, right? So it can really help you out when it comes to getting a job. And especially for those of you who don't have a degree, a formal, you know, four-year degree um, in a discipline like um, computer science or management, information systems, any of that stuff, or maybe you don't have any degree at all, this is definitely something you're going to want to do in that case. Uh, it's pretty mandatory uh, for you. While you're building your skill set up on the side, right, while you're learning this uh, cybersecurity pen testing skill set, you may as well write up what you learn. It's a great way to document what you learn as well on the internet. And one of the greatest ways to really solidify your knowledge in anything is to go and then teach it to someone else. And this is one way that you can go about doing that, right, just by teaching people through your blog posts when you're explaining stuff because it's going to force you to really... It, it's a whole different ballgame when you try to explain stuff. I know this firsthand from creating videos, right? You might think you know something, but then when you have to actually explain it, uh, you might realize you don't know as much about it as you thought you did and you have to do some additional research. And it really just 
uh, ensures that uh, you're really solidly learning the things that you're learning. Uh, so it has a lot of numerous benefits, even beyond just the potential employment aspect to it. So yeah, hopefully this put you onto the idea about starting a blog post. In fact, my blog site is pretty old at this point. And I haven't updated it probably in like two years now. So I'm thinking about starting one up uh, from scratch completely and practicing what I preach on this channel. You know, I give this advice, uh, not just as a talking figurehead. I'm actually out there implementing the d advice that I talk about on this channel. And uh, yeah, I don't have it, uh, the new one yet, but once I do, I will drop that in the description below of every video so you guys can go and check out my blog and maybe get some inspiration, get some ideas bouncing around uh, because it might be a little bit intimidating at first. You're like, okay, I have this blog. I could blog about anything in cybersecurity. What would I blog about, right? Maybe this can get the, the creative juices flowing a bit for some of you guys and, um, it can, you know, help you see like, okay, this is how he's formatting in. Just give you guys some ideas, not to say that what I do is perfect or anything, but uh, yeah, a lot of times it helps to have that point of reference. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button as well. And I will see you guys over in some videos on what you need to know for OSCP if you want to get right into that. Hey, maybe that's something you can blog about your journey going for OSCP and the things you learn along the way while you do all your CTFs and things like that. So I'll see you guys right over in those videos. Thanks for watching.